Here's how to draw a Lewis structure in three easy steps. Step one. Count your valence electrons from the periodic table. Step two. Give each atom an octet. Step three. For each atom, reduce the formal charge to zero. If you don't know what formal charge is, check out this video. Let's practice. So, what does the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide look like? Well, let's follow these three simple steps and find out. Step one, valence electrons from the periodic table. Carbon is four. Each oxygen is six. Six, 12 plus four, 16. That's crazy. Step two, give each atom an octet. Here's my atom template. Now, to distribute the electrons. Boom, 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 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I've used up all 16 of my available electrons. Now, i got to make sure that each atom has an octet. Oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8. Oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8. They're both good. Carbon, 2, 4. No bueno. So what we got to do is rearrange some electrons. Let's start making some double bonds so oxygen can share with carbon. Recheck your octets. Oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Carbon, 2, 4, 6, 8. Around it. Everybody has an octet. Step three, check the formal charge. First things first, split your bonds in half. Now let's apply the should have rule. Oxygen should own six, does have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. Formal charge, zero. Formal charge of carbon. It should own four from the periodic table. How many does it actually have? One, two, three, four. Formal charge is zero. This is good. Last but not least, oxygen. Well, we, just by looking at this, this oxygen is identical in every way to that oxygen. So this must have a formal charge of zero. Double check that. And there you have it. Now you know how to draw a loose structure.